It's not quite everything. <laughs> Everyone knows we can't pay for our food, so I'm just sitting there at the table waiting for Kim to come back. Is it my neck? She ate it. Her entire body fell into like the helm of the boat. Que buena estudiante. Todas las cositas. Y las mayetas. El verde es mi. Oh. And we did not get home till like 1 a.m. and had to be outside to catch our van to climb a mountain at 345. <laughs> muy, muy lentamente. I am in my bedroom that Kim and I will be sharing tonight in the Miami airport. I was like, oh my god, no worries. Life is so good. And he like growled at me. Welcome to my Guatemala week in my life at Spanish school. I am recording this intro in June 2024, even though these videos are from July 2023, and even though I'm literally going back in three weeks <laughs> because I had the saddest thing happen. I vlogged all this stuff from Guatemala, had all these amazing sit down videos, talking to the camera, blah, 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 blah. And it was taking me months to edit because every time I sat down, I'd work on it for an hour or two and I'd still have so much to go because I had so much footage. Then in March, my computer randomly one day decided to be corrupt. At some point, some water or condensation or something got into in it. I have no idea what it could be. They said it could have just been from me taking it to like Florida with me because it literally can be that minor. And when it was corrupt, I lost all my files on it. And unfortunately, I had already deleted half of my Guatemala videos from my memory card. So I mourned that loss. I still had half the videos I took on my camera and I still had all the videos I took on my phone which was like a lot of it but I'm sad because like my first couple days I did little sit down videos and there was this really cool not cool but really interesting video with like me and Kim talking in the cafe after our first day of Spanish school and it's all gone but I decided to swallow that sadness and still edit what I have for you. Some of the clips look a little odd and it's because they are vertical clips that I have cropped to fill so that they'll fill the whole screen. So if some things look a little lower quality, that's why. But I had the most amazing week in Guatemala. Obviously I'm going back already and there will be a vlog coming from that and I'll make sure to not lose that footage and edit it and get it uploaded way quicker <laughs> than a year from now. But, for now, I hope that you enjoy my week in the life of Guatemala from July 2023. If you do enjoy it, make sure to subscribe so you can see when my 2024 vlog comes out. otra parte que no aparece aquí en esta parte cuello 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 esta, esta parte se llama cuello hombro 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 tocamos uno ahora cuando digo hombros tocamos ah, los dos ah, ah, hombro uno hombro. cualquiera de los dos Uh, hombros. Okay. Hombre. 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 
Hombro, hombro, no, hombre. Hombro. Hombro. Hombros. No. Hombros. We're going to confuse our room. Se dice brazo. 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 Derecho. Brazo. Brazo. brazo izquierdo. Brazo izquierdo. Brazo. De aquí hasta el brazo. 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 Solo uno. Cuando hablo de dos, ¿verdad? Brazos serían dos. Brazos. Sí. O muchos brazos. Muchos brazos. Uh, muchos. Oh, muchos. Octopos. <risa> Como un. No sé y este, esta parte es importante que ustedes aprendan también en español. Mm. Esta parte se llama. Codo. 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 Es cuando se dobla nuestro brazo. This is for my vlog. I'm doing Just a little vlog. Fake texting. <laughs> so that we waited a little candy. So like maybe take a bite, do um, whatever you need to do. So yummy. <gasps> Yay! I don't think that's actually how I eat. Oh. Oh. That's so smart. Her did it. Her did it? Mm -hmm. Sit. Oh, her did it. No. Yes, when you're talking to dogs, you always have to use her. Why? In baby words. Oh. I feel like that's a little bit. A universal dad <laughs> rule. Se van a caer Muy, muy lentamente Muy rápido de la calle. <laughs> no. Los significados son diferentes, no sé. Oh. Sí, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Muy bien. Necesitamos 30 minutos para obtener la crema. Uh, muy, bien. muy suave. Oh. Muy bien.
Gracias. Vamos al cacao. Gracias a mí. Esta mezcla es con leche. ¿Probaste con leche? ¿Probaste el primero? Hola chicas. Bienvenidos acá en la cooperativa. Mi nombre es de esta manera. Sí, que okay. parece cuando Zaria está la persona aquí. Oh, oh no, al fin. What? Wow. That was magic. We've done this before. <laughs> yeah. Una vez. Wow. Qué calentosa. Gracias. <laughs> bueno, okay. No sé. Sí, podría, podría hacerlo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Otra vez. Tomar un turno. No es problema. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Aviadura y lanzadera. La trama que se encarga en llenar hilo por hilo. Trama. Introduciendo de este lado. Ajustando. Al presionar la aviadura, separa los hilos de arriba para abajo. Con la lanzadera. Con un poco de presión para avanzar el tejido. Trama del lado contrario. <risa> muy, muy única. Ahí por aquí. Ahí por acá. Me ayuda por el You're doing great, sweetie. Love you. Kim and I are leaving in five minutes, but so far today we obviously um, had breakfast, walked to school together, and I studied. Today was a lot of talking, which is most of what I'm doing with Faustina because that's what I need the most practice on. We did go over some conjugation. I'm really good at conjugating on paper, like writing it, and I'm good at reading, and I'm good at my alphabet. I'm okay now at my numbers, but I just struggle so much with talking. So most of our lesson is just conversational and she interrupts me every time I say something wrong, which is very, very, very fre frequently, pretty much multiple times each sentence, um, but really necessary because I've already noticed like there's so many times when I'll say something and I'll fix it. Like I'll say it wrong, but then I'll fix it really quick because I know she's gonna catch it, but I catch it. So that means obviously it's working. Obviously I'm learning something because I'm catching my mistakes, but she can. We were talking a lot today about the different cultures of the different towns on Lake Atitlan and the different cities around here and that was yeah most of today was just conversational technique and um, conjugation a little bit. For snack we had this really yummy maize something I know it was made out of maize and some kind of um, plant is how it was explained and it was really good but then went back for another you know hour of school and then it was time to go home for lunch so Kim and I walked home and we stopped and got Diet Cokes on our way home because we have been craving it and 
haven't had in like two days. So muy problematic, of course. And then we went home, had lunch with the whole family, and now we've just kind of been relaxing. I went and worked um, on my social media stuff, on editing my mini vlogs on the little porch up here, and it was so perfect. The weather today is so nice. The weather's been perfect the past two days. No rain, just perfect skies. It's just, we're so lucky right now. But we are gonna go to a cafe. Kim has homework to do. I actually did not get any insignia, any homework. Pero I am going to take this book that Brandon gave me. It's called Short Stories to Learn Spanish, Volume 1. And my teacher looked at it the other day because I told her I'd brought it with me and she was so impressed with it. She was like, can I go make a photo photocopy of some of this? And I was like, girl, I'll just send you one when I get back to the United States. So I'm gonna figure out where I can get some copies of this to send to the school because basically it does a short story and it bolds certain words. And then it has reading comprehension questions at the end and also like definitions of words and yeah. So anyway, I don't have homework today. She didn't tell me I had to do anything, but I'm going to do at least one of these stories just to keep practicing um, while Kim's doing her homework. And then at five, we have another class at school. We are doing a salsa lesson today. It's gonna be very fun because our teachers are coming and also everybody from all the students in our homestay are coming. So it's just really fun. Plus we've made friends at school. So everybody's gonna be there. It's gonna be like one big old party. Then we'll come back here for dinner and we'll probably play games after because that's just kind of what we do. I just realized I don't think I vlogged yesterday at all. And I finished Spanish school yesterday. Today is Saturday. We have a whole day of adventures planned, but yesterday was my last day of Spanish school. Since I didn't check in what yesterday, let me recap Thursday night or Thursday. Thursday was our most chill day, but it was still extremely busy. Um, went to Spanish school and after Spanish school Kim and I came home for lunch and then left um, To go visit a cafe cafe orbe orbe And hung out there for like an hour and a half did our homework and read our Kindles and then we went back to the school because there was a free salsa lesson. It was one of the like workshops provided by the school. came back, had dinner, played a game of rock, paper, scissors <laughs> with the family, like a tournament, and then um, went to bed for the night. Then yesterday was our last day of Spanish school. We went to school, obviously. We got to wear traditional clothing um, provided by our homestay. It's the tradition of like every um, student at this school that you wear traditional clothing on your last day of classes. So since it was our last day, we wore traditional clothing. We were the only students in the morning classes though that had it, so it's kind of funny. <laughs>
I lost it. <laughs> Say goodbye to my teacher, Faustina. But my other, my online teacher, Carol, is gonna hang out with us today. So I didn't have to say goodbye to her yet, which is good because I feel very bonded to her. Then we came home for lunch. <laughs> Did you want it in for <laughs> okay, I'm like, what? And after lunch, we went to San Juan with Maria and Manuela, our host family girls. San Juan is another pueblo in the area, and it is so unbelievably beautiful. It's very, like, artistic. All the streets are, like, decorated with different art installments. very much like rainbow vibes which if you've seen my classroom you know is like my favorite thing ever and yeah we went shopping at this textile shop and kim and i bought a bunch of stuff i like supporting the textile shops this is my second time buying stuff from one here because at those all of the items are made in the shop like from the very beginning of the process so from creating the string to dyeing the string to making the item and it takes forever for them to create stuff. So their stuff's a little bit more expensive because it takes so much more time versus if you buy stuff in the markets, which I'm also going to do, but not as much, um, that stuff is made by hand, but the string is bought. So the string is not made by hand. The string is like, you know, normal artificial string that you could use to make a bracelet at home or whatever. So it is handmade, but it, the process doesn't take as long because the string is, one of the longest parts of the process because you have to take the cotton and pick the seeds out of the cotton and make the cotton into string and then dye the string with fruits and vegetables and you know it's a whole thing so we went to a textile shop and then just walked around San Juan and looked at the little markets and took a bunch of pictures with Manuela and Maria <laughs> And then we took a tuk-tuk back to San Pedro and Kim and I, as soon as we got home, kind of left again to just explore the area and go look down at this area of San Pedro that we hadn't been to yet. That is like where a lot of the tourists are, like a lot of the hostels, one of the other Spanish schools that's really popular, the Lake Atitlan Spanish School, it's really popular is down there. It's just an area that very much caters to like tourists. So we went and checked it out. It was interesting because we planned on going back down there for a night because that's where like some of the bars are and stuff. Then we came back and had dinner with the family. Then we went to the bars. And and not gonna lie, it's kind of like very underwhelming. There were there were people out, but like the bar was there was like music, which was cool. But we weren't really like there with anyone. It was just me and Kim, so we were just talking like we always do. And we went to like the most popular bar. I can't remember the name of it, Solus or something. We were like, eh, let's go look around and find something else. But there weren't really a lot of options. I guess stuff closes kind of early here from what we heard. So we went to one other like cafe that had drinks and just had like, a, I had a beer, she had a smoothie. And then we were like, okay, that's good. And we walked home and just hung out in my room till we were ready to go to bed. Cause we were able to stay up a little later last night because breakfast was later this morning. We didn't have breakfast till 7.40. Trying to keep an eye on time. We're supposed to be leaving at nine. Oh, it's 8.59. But we always run late here by like five, 10, 15 minutes. And now we are getting ready to leave again with Maria and Manuela to go to the market here in San Pedro. And we were supposed to be going to another Pueblo Panahachel, but 
the weather's not looking very good so that might not happen so i'm not sure but we're definitely going out with carol tonight back to the bars i'm sure it'll be much more fun if she's with us tomorrow morning we're not doing the indian nose hike which i'm really excited about we have to be up at like 3 30 a.m for that because it's like a sunrise hike and tomorrow at 12 we are driving back to Guatemala City and staying in a hotel overnight. We've got a busy weekend ahead of us, but I'm very excited. And I need to make sure I take my big purse today because it looks like it could rain any minute. And I don't want to get wet. Even though my hair is wet, so I guess it doesn't really matter. What is it? Muy bonito. <laughs> As you can see, I'm all packed up. Well, I don't know if you really can see. Well, you can see there's nothing back there um, because today's our last full day in Guatemala and we are leaving San Pedro in three and a half hours. Okay, true stay. It's been a crazy 24 hours. So yesterday our plans changed because of the weather. We did go to the market with our homestay mom and that was very interesting to see because that's like where they go get their groceries every single day. Um, they don't really keep groceries for more than like a day or two. So they have to go every single day for fresh ingredients for all the meals, which is just really different from the US, obviously. I hate going once a week. <laughs> so it's crazy that they go literally every single day. That was really interesting. And then we came home. At first we were gonna go to Panajachel, which is another Pueblo, but it was supposed to rain. So she was like, eh, let's not. And so Kim and I decided to go to San Marcos, which is another Pueblo. And San Marcos is known for like hippie culture, kind of. But we wanted to check it out because we had heard so much about it. So we took a lancha over and it wasn't raining, but the water was like not very um, stagnant. It was kind of crazy. So we showed up to San Marcos like soaking wet because we got splashed by the water. Like it was coming over the boat and hitting us. So that was an experience. We walked around like San Marcos. The, the tourist part of it is actually really, really, really small. Um, it's kind of just like one street. The street is just filled with little shops and restaurants and a lot of like yoga and stuff like that also there's outside of that little area there's a lot of other like yoga type things and there's this like pier that you can go jump off of and stuff like that but we just were staying in the little like shopping restaurant area of it all que triste solamente dos of my pills left which is crazy it's kind of how i've been measuring time here but we just stayed in that really like main touristy area right there and luckily we went to a restaurant that had coverage because after we while we were waiting for our food it started pouring and it just continued to pour we stayed there for like probably an hour and a half maybe even two hours like eating we had um garlic bread and pizza and i had a coke and then i had a coffee like for dessert kind of waiting trying to wait out the rain but the rain was like not waitable it just was not going away so we were like okay well let's go explore we had ponchos and umbrellas but of course my poncho broke like before i even left the restaurant so <laughs> luckily i had my umbrella and we walked around to find um some of the little shops some of them were closed in the rain but most of them stayed open because kim wanted some earrings and i ended up buying two pairs of earrings and a headband and they're super 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 cute the earrings i have a i got a tiger pair because my school's mascot is tigers and i also got a hummingbird pair because hummingbirds are like the mascot of san pedro like their clothes are inspired by the colors of hummingbirds and there's just a lot of hummingbird references here we decided we were just gonna go back because there really wasn't much else to do unless you're like into cacao ceremonies and yoga like that's really the main stuff there and so we went back to San Pedro, but that was a whole fiasco because when we were going to la the lancha, the boat, it was just pouring down rain, which okay, was fine because we were prepared for it. But the guy who like drives the boat was like yelling at us, which is really not something we've experienced here at all. Si, vamos. And we're like, okay, okay, and we're trying to get in the boat and like the boat is not 
like it's a dock so you when you're stepping into the boat like it's like moving there's no like no one was helping us get in the boat sometimes they do they didn't this time and so we were like trying to quickly get in this boat and i um walked in and pulled back the tarp and the whole boat was completely full with people we were the last people on and as soon as i opened the tarp i hear a boom behind me and i just knew and i heard a splash i knew kim had <laughs> fallen she ate it her entire body fell into like the helm of the boat where there's no tarp where it was just straight up water so i we were like trying so hard to like keep our cool on the way to san pedro because the people on the boat <laughs> didn't really think it was funny and we thought it was hilarious actually the locals were laughing but like like to the tourists were like i'm like you're boring because that was really funny and then we came back you're not just all messed up now. <laughs> and we were telling the story to Instagram and then accidentally went the wrong way and walked up a huge hill for no reason that we didn't mean to and like passed our house. Hi. Mm, we came home and we chilled here. Hola. Si, I feel like I'm gonna die. So. Yeah, it's a wash really my shoes. I know. Why have I'm catching them yeah. up on yesterday. So much has um, happened. We have lived such a life. This week has been insane. We've just literally done so much stuff. It's yeah, like kind of wild. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But when we got home, we were just chilling. I packed a little bit. And um, after I'm done braiding my hair, I'm pretty much ready to go whenever, by the way. But no rush. Wait, what did you say? I said after I finish um, braiding, I'm pretty much ready to go okay, whenever, I'm, but no rush. And okay. I think when I when we go, I'm gonna take my stuff and put it in your room oh, so they can clean my video. room. Cause we should ask if we should take the sheets off too. I think I edited videos and read my Kindle like a little bit. I actually can't remember if I read my Kindle or not. The weather was really nice then, so Kim and I were like, well, let's go like explore San Pedro, go get a snack, cause we still had like two hours till dinner. And we walked down to the like main touristy area of San Pedro, went to Sababa, which is a cafe and a restaurant next door. And then they also own a resort, but we haven't been over there. So it's in like a whole different area. We went to the cafe. It was so good. I got the best iced chai and the best chocolate chip cookie like I've ever had in my life. It was so unbelievably good. The view of the lake was amazing. And then of course, like 20 minutes after we got there, it starts pouring rain again, pouring, down pouring for over an hour. We waited it out for like an hour and a half. And then at that point we were like, okay, we just gotta go because we didn't wanna be late for dinner. So we went out in the rain. We did get a tuk-tuk, so we didn't get too wet. Actually, it wasn't too bad because we got a ride in our tuk-tuk to our street and then came back, showered and got ready, ate dinner with everybody. And then um, it was time to go out with my teacher, my online teacher, Carol. So she got a tuk-tuk and came and met us here at our house. Cause all the teachers and like families of the school are all like know each other very well. A lot of their kids go to school together and stuff. So they all know like where each other lives. Also it's just a really small town. So a lot of people know where people live. But anyways, we got in her tuk-tuk and then went down back to that like touristy area with bars and stuff and went to one bar it was kind of dead but it was still fun the dj was really really good there <laughs> And then we walked down to another bar, restaurant place, and seriously had the time of our lives. We were standing around, like there was nowhere to sit, and we walked up to this table of like two or three girls, and we asked if we could sit with them because it was a huge table and they weren't using like most of it. And they're like, no, no, sorry. And we were like, okay, they said people were coming. But then these uh, local guys were like, oh, you can sit with us. And like three of them like got up from their seats to let us sit at their table. So we're like, okay. But that was like the best decision ever because they became like our best friends. And we just had such good conversations with them all night. I got to practice my Spanish a lot. They were really interested in like learning about us studying Spanish and what we do in the United States. And we had some like deep combos throughout the night. We talked about immigration, we danced. I was really nervous because the guys asked us to dance with them. And I'm like, because mm, in the US that's like a gateway to like, no, no bueno. I would definitely say no in the US. But um, here their dancing is like 
very um I don't know how to describe it. It's it's like you know, it's like salsa dancing. It's not like inappropriate or anything, which is cool. Like I wish we had more of that in the U.S. We do have salsa dancing in the U.S., but you know what I'm saying. I wish that was the norm, I guess, in the U.S. for people to just not be creepy because they were not creepy all night at all. There were like a lot of them too. There was like six of them and three of us, and they were buying us drinks and stuff. But I never once felt like they were like expecting anything from us, or they just really were just nice people and interested in learning about us and they practice their English with us a little bit, but mostly it was all Spanish because they do all learn English in school because it helps them with tourism. At least that's what they said. They were just so freaking nice. We had a blast with them. I wish we would have met them earlier in the week because we probably would have hung out with them again because they were so cool. And we did not get home till like 1 a.m. and had to be outside to catch our van to climb a mountain at 3.45. So we only slept for like two hours maybe. And then at 3.30 we got up, got ready to go climb a mountain. We waited out in the street, which was kind of weird to be waiting out in the street for like, we waited for like 30 minutes because it said to get out there 15 minutes early, but then it was 15 minutes late. So we were out there for 30 minutes and it was just kind of weird being out there at 4 a.m. It wasn't really like scary or anything, but there were like people like walking home from the bars we're pretty sure, but the bars closed early. So that was confusing. Like just what, there were just, a lot of people out at 4am which was really odd honestly and then our van got us and drove us over to santa cruz which is another pueblo and it's about it was like a 30 plus minute trip like maybe even a 40 minute drive it was not very close to climb the indian nose hike which i'm like where is it i'm looking at it i can see it from here somewhere oh it's over there but anyways and that was the hardest thing kim and i have ever done in our lives like people said it was hard but nobody told us how hard it was we were dying <laughs> okay <laughs> Also, our tour guide was going really fast, but he was the best. He was the best part of the whole thing. He was so friendly and cute. He asked to take a picture with me and Kim when we got to the top of the mountain and then had me send it to him on WhatsApp, which was really adorable. He was just really, really cool and friendly. We had a way better time going down the mountain than we did coming up. Coming up was honestly miserable. Hola. Buenos dias. It was a really, really, really beautiful view. It's a cool thing to say that you did. Like, it's cool to be like, yeah, I literally climbed a mountain today. We climbed 72 floors according to my Apple Watch. But it's really challenging. So if you're not like someone who enjoys exercise, I would maybe not suggest it because it, it is really hard. And it, almost all the hikes are like really early in the morning so you can see the like sunrise. So that obviously makes it more challenging because you're tired and everything. I don't know. It was just way more challenging than we expected, but I'm glad we did it. Kim, I don't know if she is because she felt really sick on the way home because the, you know, the altitude of the mountains kind of got to us and the fact that we didn't really sleep and Kim gets really car sick just on a normal day. So so the ride back she was like dying she had her motion band and a like smelling salt thing that she but it still wasn't not enough for her so she was like literally about to throw up the whole car ride home luckily she didn't thank goodness because that would have been embarrassing <laughs> then we got here and this key we are here and we're gonna go get breakfast I've packed up already pretty much. I have a couple more things on my desk and that's it. And then I'm gonna actually take my stuff to Kim's room so that they can clean out my room because they get new students like real quick. The student next to me, Bryce, left at like 9 a.m. yesterday and by dinner there was already a student in his room which was like whoa crazy but they don't find out if they're getting a student until like the day of like they don't know for the next week how many students they'll have if they'll have any so, like sometimes they just don't have any right now is a busy season so they do but in like october november sometimes they just don't have any and they won't find out till like it's time for them to be here which is crazy to me yeah the plan for today is just get breakfast get picked up at 12 by our van, drive to Guatemala City to Barcelo Hotel, check in the hotel, probably swim because they have a pool, and just relax because we are so tired from yesterday. I'm so excited to sleep in the van. I'm so excited. Well, hello. It is now Sunday. No, <laughs> it's Monday. 
almost Tuesday. It's 11.50 p.m. and I am in my bedroom that Kim and I will be sharing tonight in the Miami airport. We got a nice little area with no one else here by Plano Fun. Very great, nice cozy section. Look, we've got seats like here and here so we can put our feet up. It's gonna be very lovely. But Kim just went on a walk to try to find some food because she's hungry. Although I told her I have a bunch of snacks. So since we last chatted, I, I think I talked to you after we climbed the mountain. Let me go back and look really quick. Okay, yes, last time I talked to you, we had just climbed the mountain. Got it. Okay, so since then, Kim's back now. Okay, I'm gonna keep exploring. She's not, she's leaving again. Um, since I said she's back now. Oh, I'm oh. gonna go exploring. She's not back. We're also matching. Hi! Do you I'm gonna go explore. Us? Yeah. Uh, okay. Because there's nothing over this way, and I just Googled it, and it said that um, there's some concession stand, like, uh, what do you call those? Bunny machines? Mm -hmm. That's all I'm seeing so far, so. Sure. It says that the Einstein Bros or whatever is open. Yeah. But it wasn't. No. So after the mountain climbing, Kim and I. Um, finished packing I took my stuff down to her room so that they could clean out my room for their next guests and then we went and went back down to the like touristy area of um, San Pedro and had lunch at Sababa restaurant and first off the food was phenomenal phenomenal the view is amazing it's so good however the bill came and we assumed we could pay with card because they have a cafe on the other side of the restaurant like they share the wall and we paid with card there the day before and we were like here you go and she's like oh we don't take card and we were like okay and kim looked at me like i don't think we have enough money and we did not we did not have enough quetzals <laughs> to pay for our lunch however we were like so we do have us dollars will you take those and she was like oh yeah okay that's fine and so I give her enough money in U.S. dollars, which it wasn't that much. It was like $32. But we were running low on money because we were about to leave. So that's literally why we went to that restaurant. Because we were like, oh, well, we know they take card because the cafe does. And it's our fault for not asking before we ate. But anyways, so I give them the U.S. dollars. And we're like, okay, sweet. Whatever. And then she comes back with the U.S. dollars, and she's like, "Oh, we can't take these because it's too many dollar bills. Like they want bit, they want big bills." And I was like, "Okay, well that's all we have." So Kim had to leave with the dollars, the U.S. dollars, and go. Luckily, it was only two doors down to a currency exchange place, and exchange the dollars for quetzals. And apparently, when she got there, I'm sitting at the table like. <laughs> Everyone knows we can't pay for our food, so I'm just sitting there at the table waiting for Kim to come back so they know we're not dining and dashing. <laughs> and then Kim's apparently at the currency exchange place. And when she got there, the lady was like, oh, they need to be like crisp, brand new dollar bills to be exchanged. And Kim was like, we need to pay for our food at Sababa. And the lady was like, okay, I'll help you. So apparently her and the lady sat there and like smoothed out the edges of all the dollar bills of $32 well, I did have $10, so like $22 bills because I had a $10 bill. And yeah, and then she got an exchange and she came back and we had enough money and we were so embarrassed and we walked straight home because our plan actually was to go to the cafe next and get a drink, but we were like, we are going home. We need to, to just go home. So we went home and at that point we had like an hour before we left. So I um, actually ended up taking a little bit of a nap. We were reading our Kindles. I did read a few pages and then I got so tired from, you know, trekking the mountain, not sleeping, all that stuff. <laughs> so I got this little girl at the airport today. She was in my bag on top of my camera, so I got her out, but <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything. Anyways, <laughs> we were very humbled by that experience of not being able to pay for our food. Um, <laughs> and then that was real bad. We just stayed at the house till it was time for our shuttle to come and said goodbye to the family, which was really sad uh, because they're just so amazing. We love <laughs> oh yeah. I have all my snacks too. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna eat them. Is that okay? Yes, that's why we have them. <laughs> why did you compress <sighs> <So> that? <laughs> <laughs> Not her compressing the two bags of chips. <laughs> I compressed everything I could. Anyways, let me Ooh, this finish this. This is a comfy this. spot. Isn't it? It's kind of perfect. Yeah. Because we can do those. our little pillows. And yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I did find another comfy spot, too. Can I show you really quick? I took a picture. So, hear me out. What's wrong with her hair? <laughs> She's balding here. No, mine's <laughs> like that, too. Um, hear me out. 
So the kids play plays. It's not like any kids are gonna be playing in the middle. No, of the night. we're not going to play. Look, there's mats. There's like literal oh, like. Oh, well, you know how many stinky feet? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not laying like, on that. Okay. I also found this airplane. It's like, well, but <laughs> <laughs> but like it's like benches like that. Okay, the benches. Not, but we won't both fit on that no, bench. No, there's two. We're not spooning. Oh, <laughs> I'm not busy. This was your this was your whole <laughs> plan, wasn't it? Anyways. So we stuck by the family, which was sad because we love them. And then we got on the shuttle with, uh, we actually shared it with our friend Olivia that we met while we were there, Olivia from Australia. And so we split it three ways this time. And we actually got to, what's so funny about that? Are you eating your chips? Like a hillbilly? Can you go over there? Thanks. Yeah, go eat over there. Go eat in the play place that you like so much. <laughs> we, I'm gonna put her down. She needs a rest. I can't do this. Why is she watching me? You can probably still hear the crunching. Because she really didn't move that far. But, you know, that's okay. Because she tried her best. Okay. So, we actually got to the city of Guatemala. Or, Guatemala City. The city of Guatemala. Because I'm used to, I just speak Spanish now. And it's Ciudad de Guatemala. So... I can't help that I'm bilingual. It's just who I am now. <laughs> I'm just saying stuff backwards. We, we got to Guatemala City. We're also delirious currently, so you're welcome for that. We got to Guatemala City really quick. It only took like three and a half. It's supposed to take four. And he told us when he got us there that he was speeding so that we would be rush hour traffic. So, um, okay. I slept for at least two of the hours. It was a really pleasant ride. It felt just like literally so short compared to the ride in but we dropped Liv off at the airport and then we drove past the zoo which was really cool and then we got to our hotel our hotel was so fancy it was a five-star hotel it was like the fanciest thing ever you could flush the toilet paper which is very strange for guatemala and they had like five, four or five restaurants and a pool and a hot tub and a soccer court or a basketball court i don't remember which and a pool table and <laughs> Stop staring at me like that. God, she's just with a dead expression eating her Doritos. Like, am I lying? Is, am I saying something wrong? Because you're just like giving me a really hateful expression over there. I think I'm telling the truth. <laughs> but now I'm not sure. She's gaslighting me from behind the camera. <laughs> Okay, so it was really fancy. We really enjoyed ourselves. Kim enjoyed herself a little too much and forced me into it because we went and... Did we eat dinner there? Oh, yeah, we went to this little, like, restaurant that was out by the pool. I got a quesadilla. It was muy delicioso. And then we went to our rooms and got changed to our bathing suits and went and read our Kindles in the hot tub for, like, almost two hours. And then when we came back in, they had given us a little coupon for free drinks at the bar, just like one each, and it wasn't even alcoholic. But of course we had to get them, says Kim. And she made us go to the hotel lobby bar in our robes. And I was like, oh, well, at least those guys are wearing robes. And <laughs> they were in like really fancy white suits. I was like, oh, that's not a rope. Um, so yeah. She wanted to like stay there and like continue ordering drinks in our robes and I had to draw the line. After we got our drinks, we went upstairs and stayed in our rooms where we belong. And I was asleep pretty soon after. That was like 10.30 I think I went to bed and slept like a baby last night. Neither of us like had any issues sleeping. It was so comfy. The room was so nice. My neck hurt. That's what I was going to say. My neck hurt when I woke up. <laughs> Just doing a little dance. My neck hurt when I woke up because I don't think I moved all night. I think I was like this all night. And so that's that's a good thing. We wake up. We went to the gym, you guys. Gym rats. We are gym rats. We went to the gym. We were the first people in the gym for the morning. So what do you think about that? Or at least that we saw. Yeah. And um, then I went up to shower and get ready. And Kim actually took a little dip in the pool and did some laps in I the pool. I swam. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I finally have Doritos in my teeth. I just, I'm, never mind. It's okay. Just get out. She swam. She swam by herself in the pool. Yeah. And it's like, why is it, it's everywhere. Do you know how to eat? Why are they just all, like, what? Oh my God. Her pants are all orange. Her teeth are all orange. Oh my God. 
Someone's got to teach this kid some manners. I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh. Oh, Wait, they let you mouth. go through TSA with your water or you just filled no, it up? No, no, I need to go get some water. Oh, okay. I just found a fill station. You want me to fill yours? Yes, please. Thank you. I'm wanting to find a diet coke, but I haven't had any water. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Everything's closed. Well, like, why don't they have vending machines? They have to somewhere. Relax. Who? Who's she going to ask? There's no, <laughs> no one's working. Okay, anyway, <laughs> this morning. She, when she went swimming, she said there were like six employees just watching her swim the whole time because, well, one of them was the lifeguard and the other ones, I guess, were just like at their posts and just had nothing to do, so they kept like waving to her. <laughs> so she just put on a little performance for everybody. There was like so much security at this hotel. There was a security guard everywhere. Every like thing you wanted to get into or out of, like the gym, the pool, whatever, you had to like scan your card, your hotel, your room key. But anyways, I got ready, packed up my stuff. She got ready. And then we went down to get breakfast at the buffet. It was so good. We should have done the buffet for dinner, I think, because I bet it was really good. The hotel experience was a 10 out of 10. We went up, got our stuff, and then they provided a shuttle for us to the airport. So we left for the airport at 12, um, got through security and everything in like an hour. It actually took quite a while to get through security at La Aurora. La Aurora? Is that what it's called? In Guatemala it's the main airport I believe it was really backed up because I think they just didn't have enough employees but uh, we had plenty of time to kill because our flight wasn't supposed to board till like 3 30 anyways and then it got delayed like another two hours so we ended up just hanging out we got some food we looked at every single shop that they had in the airport which wasn't many because it's a small airport it's just like one terminal and then finally boarded our flight to Miami we were sitting like catty corner to each other I had a good little partner next to me for my flight he asked to borrow my earring to use the pokey part of it to get his sim card out of his phone so I don't know what that was about but I was happy to be of service for that. <laughs> we got out of the airplane and ran into a crisis of these kids that are like, does anybody speak Spanish? And Kim helped them and translate for them. It was, they were having an issue because their flight got delayed and so their mom was trying to book a hotel for them in Miami from Guatemala, but it was just really complicated. So Kim used her Spanish skills to help them, which was very nice of her and very helpful. It was so confusing to get out of the airport we had to literally go exit entirely through the airport and come back in through the normal TSA but also like there's no one coming in the airport right now obviously because it's the middle of the night and it was just not a good experience the TSA people were really mean <laughs> even though it was literally just the two of us I don't know how they managed to still be mean when there's just two people to work with but they do I've never had a good experience at Miami I thought we were avoiding going through regular TSA since we were coming from an international flight but because I swear when Brandon and I came back from Punta Cana and had an international connection we did not come out and go through regular TSA they had like a different one that we went through but I don't know maybe I'm remembering wrong I don't know but I just don't have pleasant experiences here with the employees I was like surely when there's nobody here to deal with they'll be more patient and they weren't they still acted as if they were in a huge hurry even though there was no one else coming for miles and I got, I got yelled like, at like literally yelled at and Kim's is so nice so I was like oh my god no worries life is so good and he like growled at me and I was like, okay. <laughs> life is so good. but then the other employees were like don't worry about it it's not you he's just old and something and I was like I can't let's keep it down fellas I really <laughs> want to get through the airport right now yeah I don't want to get in more trouble yeah and then we got in and then we had to walk a mile to get to the e-terminal because this is where I'm flying out of and now we're here and we're sleeping here and this is the end of my vlog which is so Aww. special what a special week I'm so glad we chaotically booked this trip after we watched one single solo TikTok that told us we need to come and we said you know what that 90 seconds was all we need to see book so it true. book it email the school where are you going now i'm looking for a vending machine but i realized i forgot my money and then i was carrying uh -huh. a heavy water bottle so i was like it doesn't really make sense to look no. but i won't be ready to buy right, right now sure. so i'm gonna be ready well to good buy. luck <sighs> but anyways it was a really 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 good trip trip the host family was amazing. The school was amazing. I would not have been able to survive though without Kim. I have needed her so much for translating and relied on her so many times. The kid definitely did bend my earring, but these are really cheap, so I don't care, but <laughs> it's like not closing now. Uh, you can't see it. 
Ah. Oh well, you can't see it, but it's, it's a little bit, but that's okay. I would not have been able to survive this trip without her. I'm very grateful that she came with me. We want to come back. I hope that it works out that we can come back like as soon as next summer because I just really love my teachers and the family. We would stay with the same people who are Ventura and Maria and their kids. Just an amazing experience. So thank you for watching this vlog. Let me know what questions you have about the trip because I'm going to be doing a whole Q&A video of all the like detailed details. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it if you know anybody who would probably enjoy a week at Spanish school I love community Spanish school in San Pedro I will ride for them forever they're the best stay with Ventura's family they're the best learn from Carol she's the best and I'm so excited to go back in a couple weeks thanks for watching and I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are